Did you know that before 2019, scripts in Unity compiled much, much faster? In 2019, Unity implemented a change that had a huge negative impact on workflow and development speed. Ever since then, Unity developers have been doomed by the infamous reload script assemblies. Today, we're going to fix this with one simple tool that's completely free called Fast Script Reload. Okay, so let's go in here, open up the Unity Hub. We're just going to start a brand new project. You can name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it Fast Reload. Then let's click Create Project. Okay, and then I'm just going to quickly switch to the 2x3 layout. I kind of prefer it. And then I also like one column mode up here. So you guys do you. But then next, let's navigate to the Unity Asset Store. And at the Unity Asset Store, we're going to type in Fast script reload or fast reload if you guys want the link of this is in the description but then just click on my add to my assets and then open in unity and then we're gonna now import this it should auto open the package manager but then just click import um, and we'll import that right into our project and now it pops up this menu fast script reload i want you to go click on editor hot reload and then check this option here what this is going to do is it's going to allow us to actually change variables in a C-sharp script while we're outside of play mode. Okay, and then we're just gonna have to change a couple settings. Go to your project settings, make sure you're under the editor tab and then scroll down and click enter play mode options. We want that option checked. Then the next thing we're gonna do is go into preferences, make sure you're on asset pipeline and then just ensure that auto refresh is disabled. Okay, so at this point, you're actually completely set up, but I do just wanna show a quick example. So we can navigate to their example scene here, open it on up, and then I just wanna show you what it looks like in play mode. So it's just this like rippling effect going on. Okay, so we're gonna change this ripple effect live. Go into the scripts and then open up this function graph.cs file. And then I want you to scroll down and find this ripple effect area and then change this value to 10 times v right there and then make sure you do control save go back into your unity project and then click play and you'll notice it changed and we never needed to do reload script assemblies and if you want to make sure it's working you can go into the console and it should print out this debug message and there's actually one additional thing that we can do that's really cool here we can actually edit this value on the fly in play mode so if you go back here and then just change that value to one do control save come back into the the project and you can see it's already back to the normal value and just one final note for you guys if you ever need to manually reload script assemblies you can do control r like i just did there this is really important when you need to get a new serialized field into your project so you want to build this into your workflow that's it, you guys. Remember to subscribe below if you found this tutorial helpful. Peace.